my name's Cheryl. I'm an artist, and I just want to show you how I use my favorite new brushes for Procreate. Okay, so let's get started drawing our cool cat. Um, I've opened a new document, and I have in my brushes, I have my Sweet Fig Essential brushes right at the top. And the Sweet Fig Essential brushes have a bunch of options. You've got monoline, inky, liner, textured liner, sketchy, rough, um, lots of texture options, and so much more. So let's get into it. I thought today we could just draw a fun little cat. I'm going to call him a cool cat. I'm going to start with adding a little bit of background color because it's one of my preferred ways to work. I'm just going to add a simple kind of a soft color background. I've got um, in your in this brush collection you're going to have a, um, a collection of swatches. I'm going to make those uh, swatches the default so that um, it's easy to um, work with. And you'll see that they've, they've come over here into the, um, by turning them on to default. If I come into, I click default and come into working in the classic mode, they become the um, default. All the palettes are there and then there's a history of all the colors that have been used and you have this handy dandy um, way to choose different um, colors from this color picker here if you want to change anything as you're working. So that's just one way of working and you have to you can decide what way um, suits you best but I like to have be able to get to the colors easily. Okay so let's just get started and I'm going to use this um, free selection tool to just kind of outline a shape of a of a cat head. I'm going to give it some ears and a round kind of puffy face. Uh, that's a little off kilter, but let's try that again. This and then two kind of pointy ears. And I think I'm going to start with um, a going to be kind of an orangey cat. We'll start with this orange and we're going to go into the Brillo brush and we're going to just sweep across um, some basic texture to start here from our cat's head. I'm going to come out of that and go into the eraser. I just want to trim up some of this uh, get rid of some of these little stray marks that are here, here, just neaten it up a little bit. And then those ears are a little pointy, so I'm going to give them a little bit of a squareness. That's kind of a funky little cat. And let's just add a little bit of a, even out that shape a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, and then I'm going to add, um, I'm going to just take this two finger swipe and alpha lock this layer. And that alpha lock means that anything, any marks that I make are not going to go outside the edge. And I'll show you, I'm going to add a little bit of texture to this um, basic shape. I'm going to tap on the red color. I'm going to take the pepper brush and I'm just going to begin to tap. And you notice when I tap, it doesn't go on the outside, it just stays on the inside of my little cat. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger and just tap gently. I'm going to add a little bit more detail around the edge. I'm going to stick with that same color. I'm going to go to the light charcoal and I'm just going to tap around the edge to give him a little bit of depth right around the edges. And we can have like a little bit of a shadow. He or she. I don't know whether it's a girl cat or a boy cat yet. All right. Um, he's very cute. So you can see that you can keep going with that, less or more. 
Next, I'm going to add another layer. And on that layer, we are going to pick out, we're going to put on a little quick nose here. We're going to use that freehand tool again. I'm going to make a nose shape. I have that new layer. I'm going to dra drag in um, a little bit of red for the nose. And then while I have that still selected, I'm going to go back to uh, we'll go back to that pepper brush and we're going to add uh, a little bit of speckle on that nose. We can make that nose a little bit more pink. It's kind of cute. And then we'll take down the size of that a little bit and put it more in the middle. I'm going to add another layer. And this time I'm going to use my textured liner. I'm going to go for kind of a dark color. I'm going to give this cat some sleepy eyes. That's a little too heavy. Bring down the size. He's going to be here and here. And then maybe I'll take it down a little bit more and just for fun. You can have some lashes. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and then we're going to do one more layer. We're going to do a little mouth. And I think we'll use the rough liner. And we're going to stick with that same kind of dark color. And we're just going to add a mouth here. It's going to smile a little bit. We're going to add a new layer. I'm going to add some fun ears. I'm going to use that same rough liner because I like the texture of it. I'm going to go like this into a little bit of a triangle in the ears. I'm going to set that in here. And we'll do another one over here. Two little ears. And then I'm going to also alpha lock that. I'm going to take um, a lighter color. Maybe we'll go back with that pink. And we're going to do our So Sketchy pen. I'm going to take it up a little bit. I think I have it at about 21% or so. And we're going to add some stripes in the ears. Okay. And then what would a cat be without whiskers. So we're going to use a new layer. I'm going to take the same So Sketchy brush and we're going to use black whiskers here. I'm going to go here and here and here and a little whisker action here and then another one here and here like that. And then we're going to add another new layer. I think he needs something fun, like maybe a little bow tie. Um, so I think I'm going to use my textured liner again. I'm going to change the color to maybe this green. I'm going to put on something like a little bow tie. I'm going to up the size of that brush and fill it in and it gives it such a nice texture and here and here and I think I can move that over here just move it a little bit like that mm, he's cute Okay, and then I'm going to alpha lock that, and this um, could use some little decorations on this bow tie. I think maybe I'll add some dots on this. I've alpha locked that layer, and I'm going to paint little polka dots on that tie, bow tie. Very cute. Okay, he's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to add another layer. 
And I think what I want to do is add um, some background texture. So I'm going to drag this layer above the background layer. And in the brushes we have some handy dandy texture maker brushes. Um, this one is a texture maker one. We're going to pick out sort of a paler color and we're going to just begin to stamp a little bit of texture on that new layer. If you're not, got a little bit of texture. It makes this groovy sort of mottled background and we can play with that by um, changing the blending modes. I'm going to change that to multiply and I'm going to bring it way down just so that it adds a little bit of softness. You also have with you um, in this set that I've included, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to bring in some background, some paper that I've included in the kit. Um, we're going to add Insert a photo. It's in my photos here. Uh, some background paper. I'm just going to add that here. We're going to take that layer. We're going to bring it all the way to the top. And if you bring it all the way to the top and then change the blending mode to multiply, it sets it into a really nice, it feels like it's got this kind of fun, um, handmade quality, like it's really embedded in the paper. So one thing I'm going to do is take um, all of this layer, the paper layer, all the illus everything here. I'm going to, oh actually I'm not going to take the paper layer. I'm just going to take the cat itself and put it into one group. Everything that's the cat is going to be grouped together. I'll take that paper out of there. And then this way I can move this cat and give him a centered place on the on the canvas there. There, that looks a little better. And then everything is um, centered like that. So all your cats in one group. You can flatten that when you're ready to. Um, and then I've left the background color and the um, textured background and the paper separate. Um, I think I might add one cute, one more thing. With our um, monoline brush, let's make some little bit of lettering. I think it's just going to say something like uh, with the monoline brush, I'll pick um, just maybe a little bit of red, and underneath it, I think we're going to say, um, oops, I got to add a new layer, and it's going to be on top of that. So one, that's a little too big. Turn down the size one I'm just going to write one cool Take that text and put it here. We're going to alpha lock it. We're going to add a little bit of texture to it. I think we can use maybe, we'll use that pink again. And I think we'll go back to something like the pepper brush. And we'll just add some pink speckles in there. Okay, well that's one cool cat, and um, this is a one fun set of brushes, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tutorial, and I hope you enjoy using the brushes. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them.
Thanks so much for watching.